I must learn to calm down. <laughs> right, VTPR, first update. I am, I think I told you I'm gonna do two wings. So I'm doing one this shape, because that is like the traditional, you see a lot of the VTPR gliders seem to go for this shape. Um, the other thing that I am going to do is that. So basically, I'll be quite honest with you, I took my original pug and I just drove around, went, went around the wing and I've cut. So I've got four of those, four of these. And you'll notice that these, that's not ailerons by the way. <laughs> that's not ailerons. Um, I've made one side of it longer because obviously uh, you've got to go for the camber. Now, that's top and bottom blanks. The other thing I've done is I've done myself a um, aluminium rib for the um, SB, SBV96V. And all I've done is I've got six sheets of this 3mm Depron from B&Q if you live in the UK. And I've got the two templates, they're bolted together and I've just run this round my little wire cutter that I got off of eBay for 29 quid. I've had it years, very, very useful. Uh, so I'm going to do uh, four sets of these. I've had one experiment, it was a bit naff, but um, anyway bit of practice so I'm now going to do another three of those then I'll get back to you with my ideas about actually making up the wing right quick update I have done my first panel the bottom surface let me show you so I have you who poured the ribs to the bottom surface along here now around the front You will notice oh, around the front I've used a wedge obviously because we've got this uh, semi symmetrical wing section so there's wedges there holding it all up so let's take it off and uh, see how it looks So just unpinning this now, I bravely not used any um, tape underneath, so hoping I haven't stuck it to the uh, bench. I don't think I have. But if you notice, I'm just using my finger just to support the structure, just in case the glue pin has been glued to the rib and I don't end up pulling the rib off right there we go right let's save those wedges oh I've got one there that's still just right um well that's pretty good that is it looks fairly straight it's a little bit rippled where I've pinned it I don't know if I, you can see that a little bit of where the pin is engaged um, I mean for a prototype that's going to be fine so there's that now what I've got to think of is the next process is obviously we're going to I'm going to drop a spar this first line here is the spar and then the second line is going to be the control surface which is 45% of the uh, total of the wing um, and so I've added a spar now actually I'm quite surprised just how stiff that is already. Don't forget we've got the top surface to go on. A um, little tip on adding the uh, spar. I originally started off with the carbon rod and I just sharpened the end. thought well, I'll just run it through, that'll be all right. What I found was as I was twisting it round, it was actually getting the skin of the Yoohoo paw and it was actually beginning to wick it up. Like you see people making um, thread so I ended up just going along with a knife and just nicking a little triangle into each hole. Now, 
I know the engineers out there be saying to me, oh really you should have it smack bang in the centre, but guys and girls, this is just an experiment at the moment. Um, you know, I want to try and build these as quickly as possible. Um, yes, I could have possibly run it through the centre. Also, I did think about running um, one big spar all the way through, but that looked to be a bit of a building nightmare. So remember, this is just a, a project at the moment. We don't want to get completely carried away. So, okay, update. Um, I have done top and bottom. I'm really impressed with that. There's a couple of things uh, I will do would do different uh, on this and I will speak about that at the end. Um, I put a false leading edge on um, which was just a sheet of three mil which I've sanded over. Um, that's the other issue we need to talk about. I've made one cock up um, late evening, tired, all the usual excuses. But I used some bloody clamps on there which mark the foam. So I've got an idea, I might just pour a bit of boiling water over those. I don't know what it would do to the uh, Yoohoo pour, but um, yeah, it's slightly annoying, it's on the top surface as well. So, there the, um, that's one wing made, ready, with spars, to have the um, ailerons cut into them. And then I have done exactly the same technique um, I've built both wings together and now what I'm going to do with these, same thing, I'm going to insert the spar, top sheet. Um, the only thing I'm going to do different on this particular wing is I shall taper the tips right down here. Because um, obviously they're curved. Um, and then when I've got those, I'm just going to sheet those. You've seen me do that already. I am going to get back to you when we come to cutting the ailerons. Okay, so I've got, this is my original, uh, the first wing, the right one. You'll notice I've marked it right. I have marked my dimensions on here. I'm going to use a steel rod. I did think about running the hot wire down here, um, using the um, ruler as a guide. But what can happen is, is that the ruler ends up cooling the hot wire. So I'm just going to go in completely vertical. I'm going to cut this right off and then uh, that will be the control surface. So I've got a brand new blade. Here we go. gone all the way through so I'm just gonna get my get a bigger blade and then finish hopefully finish this off go now then so next stage is I'm going to put myself a blank um, tra trailing edge on the main wing and then a blank on the oh, that's gone really well um, on there so I've got like a false spars and then uh, we'll be and then we'll be ready to go right update and confession time um, as you know I'm prone to getting a little bit excited um, I have done the uh, 
I've got the wing and the control surface and um, the keener eyed of you might have noticed I've gone full length completely forgot went slicing down uh, with the blade and I was, was going to keep this bit solid because obviously that's going to join the uh, fuselage but but the uh, fuselage of the existing pug at the moment bearing in mind this is an experimental wing at the moment the pug wing is very very narrow at the back so what I think I'm going to do is I, when I've got these all hinged and ready to go I might just take off a little bit of this corner just to get it on at the moment we're just experimenting with different wings because obviously we've got this one this shape and we are also doing this one which I'm close to finishing as well so next step on the let's call it square shape wing um, is servo so I've got myself some of the lovely five five gram metal geared servos from um, Angel Wing Designs and uh, they come with that massive arm yeah you got it I'm sticking that arm on so I plan to um, stick the servo uh, just in about here and then uh, I'm gonna just I was having an on about taping the whole wing but at the moment they're only running out about um, 18 grams each I thought if I start it's only experimental it's it's really strong anyway so there will be a bit of tape just for the ailerons and so I'm going to stick the ailerons on hinge it and then I'll get back to you and show you what I've done I must learn to calm down <laughs> right there you go all I've done is I taped the uh, control surfaces and drop those five gram servos from Angel Wing Designs honestly at £6.99 metal geared uh, I bought four of those and uh, there you go I've also done a little bit of mixing so at the moment like I've got full up elevator full down flat just to see what sort of aerodynamic maneuvers we can get I've also uh, going to muck about with a camber while we're flying also second wing exactly the same section exactly the same span but literally all I'm doing is is a slightly different wing shape tapered at the tips so it'll be interesting to see they work out exactly the same way you've got exactly the same section exactly the same servos exactly the same um, basically they're exactly the same <laughs> so the uh, all up weight is 118 grams I mean I'm well chuffed for that so if you start saying oh what's this fuse now it's not VTPL this is my pug one donor fuselage at the moment so i'm just using this pug fuselage as an experiment because there's things i am going to add to the fuselage which we will talk about possibly if these if this wing works out all right and i'm happy with it then we'll look at stage two which will be looking at beginning to add shapes to the fuselage the wings on their own are almost identical weight which i'm pleased about 60 grams really pleased so the one thing I would say is uh, if I did differently because this is the first time I've ever built a wing um, like this the cord is over thick um, it's yeah well, I basically didn't allow for the three mil sheet top and bottom but if the concept works um, and I, I I'm quite pleased the way that's gone I'm not gonna say anything until I've test flown it so anyway one thing I would suggest if you're doing this technique by cutting out these, particularly for this small wing, I instead of using six ribs, I wished I'd used 12 pieces uh, between the templates. And then what I've done is I'd have made the taper slightly easier, and I'd have taken every other one out and thrown that away. Um, but that's just something I've learned along the way. Every, not, no hot glue was used just to join the wings together. Everything else was done in yuho pour. Um, thanks very much for watching like and subscribe and let's uh, see how we get on on the sand dunes with VTPL VTPR fuck me, with VTPR project part one